you join me as I prepare to open this rather special box of 1.44 megabyte IBM formatted, pre-formatted, emission high density discs of the three and a half inch variety. Now you may say, why make a video about three and a half inch discs? Who cares? Who gives a monkeys? It's a box of discs. What the hell are you playing at? And you might be right, but there's something about the disc. There's something about storage devices, and there's something about buying media like this that we've lost. You know, you can get your USB drives now, you can put stuff in the cloud. Hello, just go away to the cloud, go and sit in the cloud. Fuck off. There's something tangible, something nice about opening a box of discs and just taking in the space, you know, the megabytes you had to use. There was 10 discs in here. We're talking 14.4 megabytes of data you had at your disposal. You could PK zip and pirate games galore over multiple discs. Go around your mate's house, shove a few discs in their computer, copy a DOS directory, PK zip it across a few discs, get it home, unpack it on your computer, probably get a write error, have to go back to your mate, try again, use some different discs, come back, and there you go, you've got his game, or her game, you've got a free game, it's a free game, and it was on these discs because that is all we had to transport data around in. You know, you might, you might have used five and a quarter inch discs, you might have used tapes, you might even be from the area where, the area, era, where you had writable CDs, you lucky dogs. But, this isn't a writable CD, this is Windows 95, although you might as well write over it. Don't write over this though, this is the never ending story by Ocean for the Spectrum 128K, 1985. These discs for me represented freedom, freedom to just copy stuff, whether it be that screensaver with that bloke sitting on a desert island. A few desktop backgrounds, like the, the coloured balls on the Windows 3.11 background, which was 256 colours. Just bits and bobs. Code, a few basic stuff you might have made. You could back stuff off, off your hard drive, stuff which was, you know, it could fail because hard drives weren't as reliable back then. And stuff failed. And these things used to come to the rescue. So, I'm going to open them up. C come on, get closer. Let's have a proper look at these discs. So here we are with our box of discs and as you can see I've opened it metal shutter up. Oh, look at this. Look at this. There's nothing like getting a pack of fresh discs. Something about these discs. I think I think the fact that they are slightly unreliable just adds to their value. It makes them feel more alive, more tangible, more more like a friend, a close buddy. And you could, you know, even storing them like this, stacked up, was a risk because each disc was a magnetic surface in itself and you had to be careful with them, you had to treat them with respect. And you couldn't, you know, stick your finger on the shutter, ooh, hello, no, why well, you'd want to do that, you know. Why would you want to stick anything in the, in the double density discs? Didn't have a hole here. You could botch a hole through yourself and make them into high density discs, but then it was a sure fire way of getting write errors and issues. And we've got the write protect notch. That means it's unlocked. No, sorry, that means it's locked. And that means you can write over it. And software like games and prepackaged software obviously just had a hole there. And if you wanted to write over some crappy software like Claris Works or Microsoft Works, then you had to put some sellotape over, which did the trick lovely. And the best thing about discs, in my eyes, is the labeling. You know, these aren't the best labels. The best labels were the ones which used to go right around the top, have a color coded band here so that you could categorize it, maybe blue for utilities, yellow for games, red for whatever, pictures of naked tortoises, whatever you like to keep. Or clove tortoises, maybe. Yeah, these labels are a bit shite, really, because they don't even fill up half the area. I'm a bit disappointed with this. We don't want it. 
and go away. So, yeah, I just wanted to quickly share this Amation box of three and a half inch double-sided high-density IBM formatted diskettes, certified 100% error-free by Amation metal shut anti-static design. Limited lifetime warranty details inside. And I think I've successfully shared this with you. I'm sure your experience of floppy disks might be different from mine. It might be the same. But remember, never stick your finger on the disk. Never use a horseshoe magnet. There's a helicopter outside. Hello! We're looking at disks! Do you want to join me? Oh, he's gone.